Okay, well it's Friday night and um, I'm on a beautiful campsite in the Massasauga. Um, I'm on Spider Lake and um, it's starting to get dark so I want to hurry up and make my dinner before it gets dark. I don't really love cooking in the dark, I like being done. So um, today, after some chatting with one of my friends, um, I decided I'm going to make taco salad, uh, which I really like. Um, I didn't bring sour cream, but what I did bring was an avocado, so I'm going to make some guacamole to put on it. And um, the hamburger meat is actually already cooked, and it was frozen, and I just put it on an ice pack. And I want to hurry up because it's starting to get dark. So um, I already have the ground beef, and it's already cooked. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I'd like to use this big pot because I'm going to put everything in here and end up eating out of it. Um, and that way I don't throw stuff all over the place when I'm mixing it, etc. So, um, garbage. So that's pretty ready to go. All I have to do is heat this up. Um, so I'm going to do that last. Right now I am going to, um, I have a tomato that I brought. Uh, and I also have my cutting boards uh, underneath the camera. Okay, I won't use that. Um, I'll just use this, this plastic bag. There we go. Um, so chop this up quickly. It's not very exciting watching someone chop a tomato. I'm super excited. There's supposed to be a meteor shower tonight. Um, thanks to my friend Derek from Paddling Adventures Radio who uh, sent me a message about that on my way here, um, which is awesome. So I actually had my tent set up in the forest and I moved it out here so that I have like a clear view of the sky and I actually am um, able to see east. I flip my tent around so that the open part, um, it has mesh on it, but it's on an angle. So one side has more mesh than the other. So I have the mesh open to where the water is. So hopefully I will see something tonight, which would be really cool. Um, okay, tomatoes are chopped. And this is actually the garbage, so I'll just stick that in there. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the guacamole in here the container that I had the tomato in um, and then I will just put something in it later and stick it in the bare vault. Easy peasy. Uh, I like to actually put the, when I make regular guacamole I put the seed in there. It keeps it from getting um, bad quickly. There's a little bit of a bad spot there but it's okay. It's not, not too bad. I don't want to put that pin in there. Get out. Um, this is kind of a little bit out of the box for me. I don't usually eat a lot of um, cheese because I have colitis and I don't eat fresh vegetables generally. Um, my colitis is very good right now and it's not uh, in a flare or anything so um, I also am staying on the same site for two nights and I'm kind of like uh, relaxing a bit this weekend. There's no tripping so I figure you know if something happens something happens. Um, my other trick is that I also use um, two-year-old cheddar, uh, which helps me a lot. Um, it doesn't seem to bother me as much as um, the other cheeses, so um, I've been eating that quite a bit uh, on and off all summer and haven't had too many problems. So, Anyways, um, I have got the avocado in there. I brought some garlic because I love garlic in my guacamole, and I will probably put like a lot in. <laughs> My garlic's all kind of hard, but that should that should do quite a bit. And salt. I actually would have liked to bring a little bit of vinegar or something for some dressing, but I did not, so it's not a big deal. My salt is very sticky from being out. Uh, being, like, it gets moist during the summer, I guess. Okay, there we go. So we'll beat this up. Maybe put this on fast forward again. <laughs> now I also brought a little bit of lime juice. Hmm. Smells good. I um, had one portage in today and uh, I actually brought the canoe cart. Um, it didn't work very good, but I managed to 
get through the portage with all my gear in the kayak and I didn't have to unpack it or repack it. I won't be that lucky on the way out, but it was kind of nice on the way in. So um, it was a hard, a hard pull. Though, let me tell you, that thing was heavy. All right, so this is all mixed up. Mm, that's really good, actually. That's gonna make a lovely dressing. Okay, um, the only other thing I need to do is grate the cheese. Uh, I'm just thinking where I would put that. I'm gonna put it on a paper towel because I don't wanna have any dishes today. These will go in the fire after they're done, so. And I'm actually eating right out of the pot, so I don't wanna waste to make a plate dirty. I better hurry up because it's starting to get dark. I'm kind of sad because I missed the sunset over there. Um, I caught it when it was almost down, uh, but not afterwards. But it doesn't look like there's too much going on in the sky. There's no clouds or anything, so i um, not saying that's bad, but that usually makes for kind of a drab sunset. Okay, that's enough of that. I'm gonna have too much today because I'm having cheese again tomorrow too. Being really brave this weekend in a different way. <laughs> okay, I think that's it. It's pretty simple. Um, so I'm gonna turn this on and heat up this beef really quick. That's how I do dishes. <laughs> Clean. I'm sure wipe it on this paper towel. It's gonna get burnt. I should probably go with my hand. Try to clean up at the same time. That way I can not have as much mess. Um, hmm. I even brought some wine. Actually, it looks very small in this uh, platypus, but it's it's a whole bottle. Well, it was. I've only had about one glass, but cheers. Oh, I was gonna dehydrate the beef, and then I thought, well, I'll just eat it the first night because tomorrow I'm having um, female bacon, which keeps pretty well. Um, it was frozen as well, and it's on an ice pack, but it's only supposed to get. Uh, it's not supposed to be super hot this weekend, but it's supposed to be beautiful out. I think 21 degrees uh, with a low of 10 or 11, so not bad at all. I'm just going to turn this down a little bit. I don't want it to get all stuck to the pan. Oop, I turned it off. <laughs> that happens. Okay. So... I just brought the bag of chips like this because I figured I could have an appetizer. <laughs> mm. Okay, use a little more lemon. Uh, lime, not lemon, sorry. Hurry, daylight's running out. It's almost hot enough. I'm just gonna mash everything in this pot and that's that. So, turn off the heat. Just put that back in the bear vault so don't have to worry about the food being on it. All right, just put the cheese right on top of the beef. Too bad you can't see this. Um, where's my? Yeah. There. I don't want to put it on the pan because then I'll have to, it'll be hard to get it off. So cheese, beef, yum, um, chips.
<laughs> well, you're in there. Mm. Okay. I think that's enough. And my tomatoes. Yum. Okay, now this is a double garbage here, so. <laughs> garbage on top and the side. Okay. And then the guacamole mole mole. I'm gonna use my magic utensil for this. Actually, I'll keep a little for the chips. Um, you know what? I'm not gonna be hungry to eat chips, so. This thing is magic. I love it. Turn him inside out. Hang him upside down. Almost practically clean there. Yeah, I'm gonna do it, sorry. <laughs> hmm. Why waste food? That guacamole is really good. It could use a little bit of salt, a little bit more salt. I like salt. The reason I open them like this is because the little holes are plugged. I think we're good. So here's what we got. I'm gonna mix this all up. I had to put too many chips in there, but it looks good. There's a lot of food here. I'm gonna have to like eat. I'm gonna have to eat this for a while. It's really not, it wasn't that much beef. Taco salad always explodes. There it is. I know it probably doesn't look that delicious, but I bet you it tastes really good. I can get some. <laughs> This is so good. I've never had it with guacamole. It's my first time. My friend Colette, again, suggested this, so. Thanks, Colette. Mmm. All right, well, I'm not gonna sit here and eat on video, but it's yummy. Thanks for watching. Forgot to mention how spoiled I am. Um, I have a picnic table. Like, I haven't had a campsite with a picnic table in ages. Um, it was sitting actually right beside the fire, so I moved it because I want to sit on my chair and sit by the fire, but, um, it's kind of nice. I mean, it's different for sure. I feel a little glampy, but I like it. It's kind of nice. It was easy to uh, make my dinner. Anyway.